welcome back welcome back to another video i'm back here in empires you can see the logo right behind me there that's the logo empires and i'm in their processing center this is where they process uh the brawlers and package everything but you can see uh the business is currently on hold so i have mr parliament right here behind me uh, who's going to take me through the whole process of uh, this um, chicken processing center and uh, hopefully we our target is to revive it and this place hopefully will be revived very soon so uh, let me just invite uh, Mr. Palamin and take us to uh, this processing centers okay uh, Mr. Palamin how are you Good. yeah you can introduce yourself to the wall and uh, tell us uh, what you do here and what this infrastructure is all about I can see it's a massive infrastructure yeah Anyway, good day, good afternoon. My name is Bala Miso. I'm the janitor of the building. So welcome to Empire's Poultry Processing Company at Fara. This is the place that we normally process about, light part to dress part, as you can see. Here's the building. So when we receive a bat from the poultry or the local farmers, but we make sure that they already put the bat in the basket. And also at the back of a truck, like pickup or a big truck. This is the main gate that we use to open. When we open it, the car gets in and drive. This is the, our gravity roller convoy. This is the place that we normally place the basket. So we make sure that we have three or four people standing here. Sometimes I myself used to be here. So you see, this, it used to roll when oh. we place the basket. So when we are here, this is what we call the overhead convoy. It's used to circle it in and out. So then you see, when we start, like the chicken itself, we normally take it out from the basket. So when you upload it, we used to hang it here. The yellow feet that normally walk down to the floor, that's the one we normally place here. As you can see, it's moving. While it's moving, we are just feeling it. So, in case of emergency, this is the emergency stop. I pull it down, everything is stopped. And ah. there's a light, red light indicates and the panel. So I have to go back and press the light and turn this. It was one move to zero. I have to turn it back to one. If not, the machine will not start. Same time, that's what we call the shackle washer. Sometimes this line, it will mess or dirty with a feathers or a blocks from the chicken. So when it pass through there, it has a brush and washer. So it used to wash the line so that it can be clean and do need it's during right. processing. That's the shackle washer. Oh, wow. So what you see is the same line, yeah. but it's moving. So let's go to this step too. Okay. So will you put on the machine for briefly to see how it is operated? So like, will you want to turn on the machine to see how it circulates? Yeah. After? Okay, yeah, yeah good, we good. Turn it up. Yeah, good. Turn good, yeah. yeah. So we can just go through the process after you just show us how it is operated. Yeah. Yeah. And since then, here is the step two. We are from the receiving room. Here is it. Slaughter and defer that we do. If you see this, that way we look at it. Slaughtering and defer that we do. So, we see the same line moving. When it comes, this is what we call a bath stone containing electrical water. It has tapped inside. We still fill it with water. Uh -huh. So, when the chicken passed through the water, it comes out through here. But it is to calm the chicken and release the pain of the slaughtering. This guy used to be slaughtered. The chicken used to be here. Two of us. Because we can slaughter 1,005 per hour during yeah. processing. 1,500 chicken per hour. That's the capacity. That's the capacity of no, it. We used to increase it. Wow. It can go up to 2,005 per hour. Wow. So okay. we can kill almost 10,000 baht per day. Oh, yeah. We can kill 1 million chicken in a month so. during processing. So we make sure two of them used to be here. They pass it to each other. Just like me and you. If I kill this one, my the next one will slaughter the other one. But we make sure we don't use to keep the whole head out. We just cut it a little bit and leave the head. Let us make sure that the chicken is dead and still is bleeding while it's moving. And go turn around, go to the scalding machine. Okay, before you pass, uh, is it why do you kill it manually? Because it's halal. Oh, just to make it yeah, halal. Yeah, it's okay, halal. and that is, we do it by that is very important. Yeah, so yeah. we can go to eat because we all are Muslim. I know, I know. Yeah. So right. that's what we call the skull tank. Okay. 
That is the skull tank. Yeah. This is the one containing the hot water. Okay, I come over there? Yeah, you can come over. This is the one normally take up the hot water. Sorry, putting the hot water. Same time, when the chicken get in, spend five to ten minutes, then it comes out through here. Wow. It comes out here. We make sure have any one person standing here. Okay. Sometimes, to make sure whether the temperature that we needed, we got it, before it go to the clock. So we just take our hand, make sure to take the feathers out, see whether it will be easier. Oh. If it is out, we know that time the temperature that we have is good. Yeah. Then from there, this is what we call the plucker. The this plucker. The plucker. Oh. We used to take the feathers out. So all that is automated? Sorry? I mean all that is automated? Yeah, it's automated. To remove the feathers? Exactly. Exactly. Wow. wow. Turn it on, you see how it's moved. So we used to take the feathers out. Then the chicken gets in and comes up through here. Like I, like I explained for you at the first, the beginning. The guy, who used to slaughter, yeah. you don't need to take the whole head out. Just leave it, that's him make sure the chicken is there. There's a big bucket that we normally place here. When the chicken gets in, this is what we call head plow. This is the one normally take the head out. Ah, and it. drop it inside the bucket that we place here. Okay. There's a bucket that we normally place here. Yes. So then from there, same time, we have two three people stand here. Sometimes they are the one who took this bed. Because during processing, all the um, feathers do not used to go out. There's so many feathers that used to be sit on the skin, the small one. We used to use our hand to take it out. Same time, they normally take out the crop. When the chicken arrives, I feel it itself. There's a remaining feed that we used to leave around the net. Oh. Same time, we take all those things out. Then it move. So, let's go. So, so you'll be doing all that while the machine is moving? Moving, yeah. Oh, okay. That's so it's right. automated. Everything, yeah, exactly. like everybody has to be in place exactly. to be able to make sure so that the machine doesn't pass them. Exactly. Wow. Well, you should manual and automate. Okay. This is the Where it comes, you see, it's the same line. Yes. The yes. Yeah. Where it comes, turn around, turn around, just come here. Because here is the vacuum basin. It's what? This is the place that we call the vacuum basin department. The lower this over there. The vast department. Okay. Yeah, I can show you the lower. Yeah. This is what we call a vent gun, a vent knife. Ah. It works with compression. We have a big compression machine here. So, but it goes with air. Ah. So, when it is on, if you press it, here is a blade. It will move, run like a wheel, very faster. And you take it directly to the clocker, like the body of the chicken, and press it, push it, it will dip a hole, then you come out and flush it. There are so many in the side of the it will flush it here. Then, next person standing beside me, <coughs> beside him, the one having the vent gun. So, this is what we call a scissors. At least, if we put it directly to the clock again, cut it a little bit, at least it can be like a bit, so you can have access to take out the intestine inside. Then, when you do two operations, do that, you come to the next person. This is what we call a neck cutter. A neck this cutter. A neck cutter. Oh. This is the one normally take the chicken out. Yeah. You see? Also, it works with compression by air. Oh. When the chicken gets in, you just hold out the neck at the end of this, the beginning of the neck, near to the head. Then you put it on the back where the solar is, then you press it. It will put the neck out. Yeah. And we put it, there's a bucket also, we normally put here a big bucket. Then we leave it. We only have a lot of four staff standing here, or five of them. This is a spoon that we normally use to put it inside the clocker so you can take out the intestine. The person used to be here, she just put it in and push it out, lift it. There's a lot of people standing there. The other one used to separate it. We take out the intestine. And also there's what we call a gibless. We normally separate and sell by kilos. Chicken liver, chicken heart, and digiza. Oh. So we normally sell all those things by kilos. We separate it. That's what we all the rest of the standing here doing. Then from there, that's what we call a long suction gun. We used to put it at the back of the chicken so that the use of the remaining blood was sitting inside of the chicken. So easy. Long suction gun. Short gun. Long suction gun. Long suction gun. Oh, suction. Yeah. If you press it, you see it will suck the remaining blood that will sit inside and pull it out. Then the rest, that's just a tank with water. You so wash the chicken with a bit, then continue moving, go to the chiller. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. And I can see this place also have the emergency uh, yeah, uh, shutdown yeah. cable. Every department you move to have an emergency stop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in case, because sometimes, because we are dealing with knife. Yes. Yeah, you need processing. 
someone can do it himself or yes. herself. Yeah. So you can ruin it. That's why, so before we have it, yeah. something that's going to disturb us, we have to just put you feel better. So yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And right after you turn it on, it will resume from where it stops. I mean, right after, if you shut it down mm -hmm. and you, you resume it, mm -hmm. it will continue from where it stops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Here is the children and portion of the family. This place, yeah. Yeah. For the children and portion of the family. As you can see. That's massive. The same lining. Yeah. Yeah. The same lining. Sorry? They said the same lining. Same line yeah. Okay. So you see, when it comes, this is what we call a leg cutter. A leg cutter. A leg cutter. Oh. This is the one you see separate the meat and the feet. Oh. The yellow feet used to work on the floor and yes. the meat is self. Yes. This is the one you see separate. When it cut it, the meat is set drop here, but the feet will continue. There's another machine over there that we call unloading machine. Huh. That's the one you should take it off and drop it down. There's a basket that we normally place and drop in. So like you see, this is the key that you do in one. Yeah. This is the key that two in one. Two in one chiller. Chiller. Yeah. Here, containing water from the tap. Uh-huh. Here, containing water from the chiller machine. Okay. This is this is the one having the cold water. At the temperature high up for the gill. Okay. Yeah. So when the chicken drop in, this chiller itself, it will wash the chicken. We don't use to use our hand to wash it. This is the chiller used to wash the chicken, very clean, a little bit, and push it itself, pass it to the other place, that way the cold water it is. Same time, because this temperature used to be high up to 4 degrees. Okay. So when the chicken comes up, it will be cold, not a chicken, it will be cold, a bit, it will stay longer outside, like one to two, three hours, it will not change color, it will oh. not smell. Oh, because of the cold water. Yes, because of the cold water. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So during the processing, it comes out from here. And drop. This is what we call the drum. The drip drum. When the chicken get in, uh -huh. like water wash inside the chicken, it will flush it out. Oh, okay. It will affect it and drop it. So that at least the chicken will be just like it. Because we are dealing by the weight. Yes. So we are saying the normal weight. That's why. Wow. We use the drum. So that's from there, this is what we call the collecting table. Collecting table. Collecting table. Yeah. We have two, three people standing here. Sometimes I myself used to be here. Uh -huh. We pass the chicken to each other. So during that processing, that after, we normally place a scale here, main scale, and there is a trailer that we normally live here. We are separated, starting from 900 grams over to up to the last size that we have. If you weigh the chicken, because we are dealing by weight and quantities. When we weigh the chicken, if you got 1.2 or kilo or 1.1, we are separating them. If you get the big size, then we don't have customer for it, like 1.678 above, we normally put them here. This is what we call the portioning machine. This is the one used to portion the chicken, portion. separate the chicken, oh. yeah, cut it into pieces, like chicken wings, chicken oh. drumstick, chicken thigh, chicken breast. This is the machine used to create. Then after that, after we this here, portion, this is the bag that we normally pull as in. This is our portion in bag. Oh, that is Moji chicken. Moji chicken, yeah. Moji chicken. So if you place it here, as you see, there's a um, Sealer machine that we use, we used to seal it, at least it will be a level, look neat. Wow. So like, as you see, this is the one that we normally put our dress chicken. Yeah, the big sizes. Any one size we have, we come here, this is what we call a mobile table. A mobile, mobile packaging table. Okay. Yes, you see, this will be like this. Then after we push it and tie it up, these are what we use, green pieces. Sometimes if we finish, there's a tape that we normally put here, we will use it. Okay. So then from there, they normally place them in the basket. So then after that, we transfer it to the 40, 20 feet freezer, spend 24 hours. Then after that, the next day, marketing come and take supply. Wow. That's the way that we normally place it here. That is beautiful. Uh, we just um right here to uh, to show you the place uh, where all this water drainage is controlled. Pa, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, anyway, here is our federal offer transformer pond. As you can see, during processing, the flows will flow with the water. When the, like, when after processing, the water is moving. So you see, this is it used to separate the water and the feathers and the blood. Automatically? The Automatically? When it move, yeah, when it moves, like, it will suck it and take it outside. Oh. So there's a place that where the feathers used to drop down sometimes and separate it. Also, 
and the water continue go. There's an old 40, 20 feet container that we have over there at our side. It used to go directly there. Then also from there, the water and the growth they normally separate too. So the water used to go to the garden at the, because we have a garden. Wow. So the growth used to be remaining there and get dry. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's the thing that we use. That to is use. very beautiful. Thank you. A big compressor. This is? A big compressor. Oh. As you can see, because like I told you before, we're dealing with air too during the evacuation area. This is the compressor to supply the air, and also without this air, the line cannot start. It. Oh. Yeah, like the overhead convoy. Yeah. Because of this compressor to supply water so that the line can be moved forward. Wow, it's a big one. It's a big heavy duty. This is very big. Yeah. And what is this other one? Also, this one is the chiller too. Chiller. The chiller compressor. You see the chiller? Yeah. Where they used to, the chicken used to be get during processing, it used to wash the chicken, same time make it cool. Oh. This is the chiller machine. This is the one also is controlling the chiller during processing. Yeah. Before the chicken comes out from the cold water, this is the one controlling everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is the one controlling the temperature as well? The chiller, exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. Yeah. And on as you can see, yeah. Here is a big yeah. This place is supposed to be our hot um, cool room. 40? This is uh, going to be the, our cool room. Cool room? Yeah, during processing, this is where we're going to store the chicken. Okay. This week. Because massive. we have to process a lot of chicken. Yeah. And we have a license. We can yeah. supply the whole of Africa. Wow. Yeah. The license already achieved? Yeah. Or already, you already have it? Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, and... Yeah, already got the Okay. Management. Okay, yes, yes, yes. That's really beautiful, yeah? yeah. And also, this is the machine that we use. This is our control panel. Okay. Yeah, this is the machine you should do all the process that I have explained for you. Yeah. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Man, I never knew we had something like this here in the I Gambia. Know, I know, I know. And this this is, is one in town. One in town, one yeah. In Gambia, so. in Africa. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I also understand we got this machine before Senegal got it. Yeah. And Senegal, Senegal is now doing better than us. Senegal, they come and take us from here. Wow. And what do you think? What do you think we needed to do to make sure this place is back to operation again? Yeah, this place will come bigger up. We need support from the government. Okay. At least. When they support us, at least. We normally have visitors from them. Yes. They came here and see us. See everything. I used to take them around. They see all what we got. Uh -huh. They used to impress them themselves. Uh -huh. So, we normally talk with them also. Yes. But... So the things now is just left to them. If wow. we have support from them, we can produce what the country wants. Definitely. Even right now, the capacity that we have, we cannot afford it. Yeah. It's too big. It's very it's big. This is enough because you mentioned that you can uh, process up to a million chicken in a month. In a month. That is enough to feed the whole Gambia. Yeah, exactly. And in fact, export it out. Exactly. That is beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. If you got support, that thing will continue to have. Wow. Because this machine can run 24-7. Yeah. Don't stop. See that? Yeah. See that? When during what used to discuss us during processing, the current system. Yeah, and just like what just happened, exactly. while we are doing the video, the light just went off. But yes, I understand yeah. you also have power, a backup generators. Yeah, we have a backup generator, but it's a heavy duty. Heavy duty. It's during, it is during us during processing. Yeah, yeah. Because that generator can drink 20, 20 liters per hour. Oh. It's a very big generator. Wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> that is massive. So if you are doing a business dealing with those things. Yeah. You yeah. know, you can see yourself and see what you're doing. Definitely, yeah, definitely. That's why we need support. If the government see us uh -huh. and come and support us, help us, we join hand together, it will help the country. Definitely. So we don't need imported in the country. Definitely. Yeah. And so, you know, the hatchery also have the capacity to 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 to, to uh, supply the whole country. The hatchery have it. We have a big capacity also. In a hatchery also, I'm hundred percent sure that in the five months we can produce one million chicken too. Wow. The old chicks. And I can also see around, mm -hmm. you have these um, buildings where you can bre breed your own exactly. chicks, hide them, breed them up, and then come and slaughter them. Everything, all the processes is available we here. Have it, we have a big, like, we have a parents farm and broiler farm. Oh. Yeah, where we can lay the, like, the layers farm and also the broiler farm. And the house are very big. Can contain more than 20 to 30,000 chickens. With all automatic watering and auto also exactly. automatic feeding. Yeah, we are using automatic biomanual, we use in both. So that the work will be easier. So, yeah, so. we have every system in the in the like in the company too. Yeah. yeah. So, do you think if somebody wants to invest into this business to bring it up again, do you think uh, that is also an option? 
let's say an individual want to do an investment here yeah it's an option too but that one you have to sit and with the management, management yes yeah that's the only one people that can yeah and and also the numbers of this uh, uh place will be uh, the numbers of the uh um, of empires will be on the video so anything anybody who wants to do any support any any support is highly welcome so we really need this machine up and operational you can see everything is perfect everything is just working normal yeah unfortunately we cannot just put it on because light went off as we said at the beginning of the video so uh pa what is your last uh, message to the uh to the viewers everybody that's viewing you yeah anyway once again name is pala miso working in empire's poultry processing company in farato just what we need if you get support from the government it will help us definitely it will help us Yes, in Gambia, we are all one. Gambia is a small country, it's not that big like, like the other countries. What the countries can produce, we have here. If you can see, as you can see, the machine that we have, like I say, it's only three in Africa. Senegal just came here, they want to partner with us, but they cannot. They just come on, spy, take the machine, they build it in Senegal too. But still now, the capacity that we have, they don't have it. We can process, a company can produce a million chicken in a month, hundreds of thousands of chicken in the two weeks. So I can produce and supply the country, can help the country. Please, please, please. Just my fellow Gambians, if you get support from the government, things will help us and definitely things will be good. So that this a big company can create a job like the youths. There's a lot of youth here, just like me. They have done school, they are not doing nothing. Sitting outside, drinking that air, that's nothing. So that if we help us, if the government help us, they can come here and work it. So here we can employ almost 300 people. Well, we can have three shifts, morning, afternoon, night, both day. Mm -hmm. So when that thing happen, please, that will definitely help us. That is so, beautiful. That anyway, is very beautiful. That's my closing, closing remarks. That's the place that I can stop. We just need support. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. You've done great. You've done great, yeah.